showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And he's top players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next, the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Mumbai, India, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Big kick land. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the counter. Good punch lands. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Oh, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Lee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Ooh. Not there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Straight to the body by Lee. 
He's looking to land the right just out of range. Huge block. Oh, and he connects with the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Guys, really throwing with authority. He's going after the head. Now connects with a right. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Campbell inches right there. Wow! It was a good night if that landed. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Blocks the shot. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in it. And it's not always going to be. We've got two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Beautiful strike. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big kick. Well, he felt like he had to kick effectively to win this fight, and he's certainly doing that right now. Nice combination of kicks. His kickboxing post is feeling ecstatic right now. Uh, he's the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Misses with that punch. Right punches there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Side leg kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. 
Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Him. Back and forth we go here. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Another shot lands upstairs. Final seconds here. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Lee's kick to the body. That one blocked. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye. Oh! Oh! He's going to go to the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making think you're going low, and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lands flush with that right hand. Let's get him down. Nice strike. Big body kick. Just a slip there. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, what got through, that kick was blocked. Seconds. Nice. Beautiful body kick. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. 
look at that whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice move to punch. Pretty good right hand. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Slips to avoid the right. Nice shot to the body there. Big head kick land. Nice kicks there by Lee. Gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. about the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, right to the mount. Ninety seconds to go now. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice counter shot there. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Fifteen seconds to go. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of strike? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Power shot there. Good punch. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. And now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that will land the right on the spot. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Liver kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Head kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Able to check that kick as well. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. 
one way or the other. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. 90 seconds and counting to go in the fight. Connection with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Good jab. That one snuck in. Nice strike. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Got clip with the right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Right hand landed. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, and he caught the kick. Final 10 seconds of the fight. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. For the winner by unanimous decision, Assassin! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance.